In today's budget brawl, we have four well bourbons going head to head. In the first corner, we have our reigning champion, Old Crow. In the second corner, Benchmark. In the third corner, Ancient Age. In the final corner, Heaven Hill Quality House. All these bourbons come in at 80 proof, are aged for three years, and retail for around $10. Let's brawl. Thanks, Joyce. As always, we're going to start with glass A, go to glass D. We'll then take a small break, go glass D to glass A, and then we'll return to you with results. Let's start with glass A. It smells like bourbon. Perfumey bourbon. Caramel, brown sugar, some like spices. But light. Yeah, but light. Yeah. Seems fine to me. I'm going to go for a taste already. Yeah, it's spicy. Yeah, it's sweet. You know, normally, I don't think anything of like a notes of like burnt wood. I got burnt wood on that one. Well, they are charred barrels. Right, they're charred barrels. So like generally, uh, that's a note that I could pick up on any of them, but this is the first time I think I've ever noticed that note. I don't plan on sp spending much time on this. I'm gonna go straight to glass B from there. Oof, that was good oof. This one definitely smells different. More yeah. Oh, yeah. caramel, less sugar and baking spice. A little thicker on the nose. I think the wood note's definitely a little more prevalent. Like the other one was lighter. This one's much heavier on the nose. Let's see what this is on the taste. Definitely woodier. Woodier, not as bold, but real sharp on the finish. I mean, they're definitely the same category of whiskey. I mean, like, definitely oh, both yeah. bourbons. But they definitely did have a difference in taste. But yeah, there's, there's a difference there. I'm ready to delve into C. I'm ready to move on to C as well. Ooh, this is more sugar forward. Yeah, it's definitely sweeter up front, but comes in with those spices and the other traditional bourbon-y notes. Like a cinnamon sugar. Not as alcohol forward as the first one. Hmm. I thought the palate was a little thinner, but it had a stronger oak finish. I'm ready to move on to D. I feel like each time I smell it, I'm like, oh, this smells really good. Every time I'm like, oh, this smells really good. All four of them. I'm not getting anything on anything prevalent on the nose on this one. I say this one is a little more floral, lighter, but also so sugary. Honeysuckle and rose. I can see the honeysuckle. Yeah, I can not see so it. much the rose. Mm -hmm. mm. There was a woodiness on the palate there, but I don't know how to describe it. It wasn't like a normal oakiness. I got nutty on those oh, people. Yeah. All right, so we actually went pretty quickly through those. I think what we can say already is that there's a lot of similarities here, and they're not necessarily really jumping out whiskeys. They're only 80 proof, so they're not going to be super robust, and they're not like there's not going to be a necessarily a whole lot of difference. But we're going to take a small break and we'll be right back to go D through A. While we're taking our break, go ahead and leave a comment down below of which whiskey you think will win and give us a like if you like what we're doing. We've taken our break. We're going to go ahead and start again with glass D. Fruity this time. Maybe that's what it is. I was going to say, like, I feel like there's spices here now, but they're more musty. I'm getting like a hint of raspberry. I'm going for a sip. There's definitely is that nuttiness there. No comments on the ballot. I got no comments there. It's bourbon. It's bourbon. Now, to be fair, one of these we said was an Irish when we first reviewed it. A really, really good Irish. <laughs> Maybe even two of these. There's an outside chance even three of these. Glossy. Compared to D, this one smells heavier. More oaky. It has like a funky wood note on this one. Musty A. Mmm. Yeah, that could be it. Especially on the finish. It's not a bad funky, but it's funky. Yeah, there. It, yeah, it's not a bad funk, but there's a funk. I'm ready to move on to B. What the heck? <laughs> What happened to this one? What do you mean? Got, this one smells funny now. Almost like um, like you took a leather belt and you slathered it in peanut butter. I'm not getting that at all. Okay. I agree with you the leather part. Not so much the peanut butter part. The palette was definitely heavier. Yeah. Still a sharp finish on that. All right, let's go to A. I almost went straight for a sip. I see that. Butterscotch. Mm, yes. Yes. That's butterscotchy. That's exactly what it is. Starting to develop a little bit of spice. I'm noticing a, like first it was just butterscotch. I'm getting like a butterscotch, some dusting of cinnamon. Oh, oh, um, the cinnamon sugared almonds. That's caramel and oh. A is always gonna be the one that changes the most between our first right. sip and our second sip. Definitely you're, you're gonna hear a lot of different notes from us on the second sip on that one for compared to the first. All right, well, we'll go ahead and break off. We're gonna put these all head to head and figure out our orders and we'll come back to you with results. All right, we're back and we're ready for results. Let's go and start with our last place bottle. And last place is glass C. I had glass C in last. I had it in last as well. Last. 
Last, last all round. Unanimously last. Last C was, all right. Last C was Benchmark. Uh, Benchmark is from Buffalo Trace, so I'm actually a, a little bit surprised about this one. I mean, obviously it's still their $10 Eddie Proof well bourbon, so, you know, nothing to try too hard about, but there you go. And third place will be Glass B. I had Glass B in third place. Third? I had it in second. Glass B was Quality House. Heaven Hill Quality House. A one liter bottle, so it costs like $11, but which means that Old Crow is in our top two. Sure is. In, Defending Jay out there. <laughs> in second place was Glass D. I had Glass D in second place. Second. I had it in third. Glass D was Ancient Age. <laughs> Which means that Old Crow remains our best well bourbon. Not only does it remain our best well bourbon, it won unanimously. Unanimously yes. our best well bourbon. We all put it in first. That is one dang good Irish. <laughs> At this point, we have to get make shirts. I say that. <laughs> just like a picture of Old Crow and says, just says, dang good for an Irish. <laughs> so if you want to know what best $10 bottle to get, it is still Old Crow. You know, I was really, really expecting Old Crow to lose, but I'm not disappointed. I will say, I'm not, I am not surprised that it's, Ancient Age at least made top two. Right. Yeah. No, neither am I. Ancient Age is the high rye mashable from Buffalo Trace, whereas Benchmark is the low rye mashable from Buffalo Trace. This is the same mashable. It goes into things like Blanton's, and that's the only one I can think of right now, but Blanton's. Blanton's is the same mashable as this, uh, which is why people who get Ancient Ancient Age will, they grab it up because they're like, oh, it's like Blanton's, just cheaper and not in a cool bottle. I feel like Glass D would make a better cocktail. Yes. I think actually D would actually make the best. They all need to make good cocktails. I think D would make the best cocktail though. <laughs> Between the spice notes that are there, so it's actually gonna stand out a little bit. Yeah. And the fruit notes. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think D is the best cocktail bourbon. Let us know what you think of our results down below. Tell us if you think we're wrong. You probably are going to think we're wrong. We're gonna go ahead and blend these all up and give you our toast. Well, until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, this, this drink's on me. me. It's bourbon. It's bourbon. <laughs> right. Like it's, it's bourbon. It's nothing to write home about combined. It's bourbon. <laughs>